Alright, Jerry and John, here we are looking down your street, looking at your neighbor's house, and looking at your house. Yes, indeed. The guys are in there working right now. In fact, they kindly lend me a hard hat at my request. <laughs> what do you think? I look pretty scary of it. Uh, I look pretty scary anyway. I'm in my super casual uh, go to the gym after this outfit. But uh, here we go. Tomorrow is the uh, meeting with Donnie for the pre drywall uh, meeting. I just figured you might appreciate being able to see the place prior to my meeting with him. Not that you'll have enough detail here to necessarily be able to pick up on anything, but it's uh, kind of the best I can offer, and that is a walk around the place. Obviously, oops, the hat's falling off. Your uh, electric panel, I'm not sure what the goes are, the 60s. Uh, I'm not sure what that denotes, but uh, obviously something that's uh, meaningful. And uh, there's where they located the AC uh, condenser, as discussed previously. Uh, I believe that's an electrical uh, connection, probably for that AC condenser. Uh, I guess that might be a hose bib there. Yeah, it looks to be. I like that little neoprene or nylon base they put it on. Uh, seems you have a gas connection here and then uh, I would turn the electrical underneath that. There's your optional patio on the eye. Uh, so this is the back of the home. I'll turn 180 degrees and give you a look at the pool area. Here we go. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yep. You know where you saw that snake as we were uh, affectionately kidding was me pointing out the survey stakes are actually back in that uh, brush. Uh, that it's a little bit beyond the cleared area. Uh, so just to tell you what I was doing there. Uh, okay, coming back to the house. Well, it looks block construction. There's your new roof with uh, architectural shingles. Here's looking down the other side, and uh, I assume another hose bib where that pressure gauge is testing the uh, plumbing. Uh, we've got uh, looks like uh, a stack for your gas water heater, I assume, up there on the roof. Fans in the bath, uh, bang out that will be the soffits once the soffits go in. That's what I was referring to. That's going to be a hose bib. Uh, although here's a hose bib here. So I'm not sure what that, if that ends up being a connection or not. Um, so here we go in the garage with a high ceiling. It's going to be a little noisy at this point. Uh, that control connection. Uh, I would assume that's gas connection. Or maybe that's what that pressure was. Uh, I think these guys are boxing in some electrical. Uh, your place up there for your drive store. I'm not sure what that boxes for. There's your incoming electric. Uh, oh, sorry, that's for your car carriage lights, not your incoming electric. Uh, I'll go back around and come through the pillars and the formal entrance. Got electrical right there at your front door. It's nice when they box them out. Plastic these days. Uh, your den, living room, got uh, your brace for a ceiling fan, you can see the brace up there. 
guess that's probably a cable or telephone coming in the wall all nicely sealed. What a great idea. You can see the green on the boards where they've treated it with a, I believe that's a borate uh, uh, product to guard against termites. And uh, just details that hopefully you're able to see here as I do a 360. Into the kitchen area. Here's where you're wired for your island. Uh, looking around the kitchen wall, I assume that's the refrigerator, uh, water line, for ice maker. Uh, I assume that's uh, the stove with the heavy line coming down. Uh, uh, just uh, let me see. That should be where your sink is going to be. Um, probably a dishwasher line right there, and uh, the uh, recessed can lights are in the ceiling. I see five of those, and uh, I'll kind of pan them for you. And then uh, it should be overhead lighting from the dining area, uh, pantry closet, switch box. Walking along the family room, nice big bank of windows. Uh, we're, uh, we're ready in the uh, block for a ceiling fan there. This is going to be the air handler closet, so it's got a good quick uh, connection to the condenser outside. I think that was a great idea of moving that. Uh, here's the 60s again. I don't know what they are. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Um, so this is a bedroom, guest bedroom, off the, what do we call this, kind of retreat gathering area. Obviously, your oversized pocket type uh, sliding glass door. Uh, other bedroom off the retreat gathering area. More 60s. Maybe those are the solid pours or something. Uh, and then that would be, uh, I think, a linen closet right there. Uh, guest bath. And you can see your tub's under a test with water in it. Uh, the plumbing and tub surround. Uh, commode right there. Single sink in the guest bath. Um, walking back out of the bath, back over to the other guest bedroom that we hadn't seen so far. And looking around there. Like the workers have left, perfect timing. Uh, here, a, a view on your lanai. Da, 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 da. And out to the backyard where the pool will be. Okay, turning back around, heading back on in, back in the family room area. Uh, lots of AC stuff work in place with your. Uh, the distribution box right there over top of your uh, outgoing lines and another distribution box up over the laundry room I think uh, speaking of which let's go and I think we have laundry here yep there's a dryer vent box and that's going to go up and exhaust through the ceiling. And see, it looks like it's going to have a gas line there for your gas dryer and your washing machine hookups and laundry sink. Um, you know, I say these with a question mark because uh, 
and uh, you remember your details so much better than I. But uh, laundry sink hookup looks like it's in them. Looking back in that uh, laundry area. Now I step through and we're in the master bedroom. Can't miss that. Two nice windows. Uh, looks like we have possibly, yeah, I think that's phone, electrical, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to tell what cable. Those all look like they're electrical. Uh, that's electrical too. Uh, I'm trying to remember, I asked Donnie about cable. I'm, it, maybe it's not even wired in yet. I'd, I'm not seeing it, but I could be staring right at it. Unless, I guess that's it. I guess it's combo uh, telephone and cable. So it's against that wall. Uh, yeah, there we go. It says TV on the wall. So I guess that's the wall you asked for the cable to be on. Uh, I don't guess you asked for it in two places in the master. And going into the master bath, we have uh, the future home of your shower with the recessed floor, um, the plumbing for that, and your shower, uh, your beautiful garden tub, also under a water test, and you can see how the tub's been bedded and boxed and framed. Uh, that should be a sink for one of the lavatories or vanity areas and then the other one to the other side so again just to orient us there's the door into the bath shower to the left I'm in the bathroom shower to the left garden tub one vanity uh, right next to the tub water closet and then other vanity right by the door to come into the bathroom hopefully that orientation works water closet with the connections for the commode uh, got a fan up there, boxed in. Yeah, and I'd, that also has the same kind of framing on that light switch. Hopefully that's enough to suspend a fan. Not that you would put a fan in the water closet, but that's the same one I saw in the living room uh, or den. Uh, I, I presume, I assume that's enough for a fan. Let's see. This is the master closet. So your entrance door to the master bedrooms here and immediately on the left is a closet and a nice one it is we're uh, ducted with AC in the closet which is certainly what you want light switch uh, looks like there's no uh, plugs in here and uh, that's not atypical Coming back out of the bathroom, back or bedroom, excuse me, master bedroom, out of the closet, out of the master bedroom. Again, there's the laundry, back into the uh, kitchen family room area. Again, kind of a little sweep of the ceiling. You can see the uh, part OSB decking for the roof. Um, I don't think you were getting, you didn't get the uh, thermal blanket underneath that decking, right? Any kind of energy efficiency up in the roof area. Uh, again, I don't remember. Pardon me. I'm, but Jerry, I feel confident that you have a, a good memory of what's going on. Light switch and then maybe that's for alarm. Not sure what that one is. Uh, now that it's quiet out in the garage, your main panel your square D type panel with the main electrical feed coming in and then all the distribution. Uh, that's a loop for a water softener it looks like in the garage. Again that appears to be your gas line coming in. So again that's what we saw with the pressure gauge on it I guess. And another feed for your carriage light on the other side of the garage. Which sure is nice having this all locked. Looks like they beat this door up with a header, I guess, to mount the door to. And uh, here's more of the ceiling of the garage. 
gosh knows what it is you might specifically want me to take so <coughs> excuse me I'm trying to give you a kind of a sweep of everything uh, there's one the inside face of your front door uh, I'll go back out here and turn back around kind of the perspective of the front again front yard will look like this pretty good size front yard the driveway will go in later and uh, that yeah. so I hope you like what you see I'll get back to the office and turn this into a video and then upload it on YouTube and then so I can publish it and send you a link to watch it well, for your viewing pleasure, this is Jamie, your Florida real estate representative, signing off. Thank you.